poor air quality across many parts of the country. The good news is that that's about to improve. The bad news, at least if you're on holiday, is that there's going to be some rain. We've had some rain already, quite wet this morning across Northern Ireland, much of Scotland. As you can see here, though, that has been clearing away recently, allowing brighter weather, clearer weather to follow along behind. The rain, on the other hand, further south now, in Northern England, across much of Wales, and just beginning to feed in towards the southwest. But most of England is still fine and dry. It might just be one or two spots of rain around, but some pretty wet weather through those more western and northern parts, and the brighter conditions across Scotland and Northern Ireland, feeding further and further in, sun coming through, just one or two showers in the northwest there, and quite uh, misty and murky with it. Still quite hot and sultry in eastern parts of the country, the sunshine there turning more and more hazy, cooler and fresher though in the west and in the north. You fancy a dip in the sea, about 19 degrees sea temperatures on the beaches a few degrees higher. Now the weather front bringing the fresher weather and the rain becoming slow moving I think across northern parts of England during tonight. It does mean to say that much of England and Wales will have a good deal of cloud, there'll be some outbreaks of probably by then lightish patchy rain in the north and west, dry in the southeast, the much clearer conditions persisting across Scotland and Northern Ireland, where as a result it's going to be a much cooler night than for some time, but still a very sticky warm night, 16, 17 degrees in the south. The weather front still there on Friday, very stuck, just little ripples running along it, so it does mean to say that much of England and Wales again starting off cloudy with outbreaks of rain, whereas further north it's going to be bright with some sunshine and nothing more than a light fleeting shower. I think the drier and brighter weather though will ease slowly southward during the course of tomorrow, although it's not going to clear up I don't think in the southeastern corner or the Channel Islands. Many parts are going to be a good deal fresher tomorrow, still sticky weather in the south and the southeast. Over the weekend a bit of a problem because it does look as if areas of low pressure and weather fronts will move across from time to time so they may well produce some outbreaks 